When working with images, you'll often want to concentrate edits on specific areas of a photo, or for example, cut out one part of a photo and combine it with another. For that, you would usually use the selection tools. The selection tools are grouped into three groups. The first group contains geometric selection tools. You can use these to make rectangular and elliptical selections. The second group features selection tools that let you trace the outlines of objects either manually or automatically. And the third group has selection tools that let you select areas based on their contents or color. Most of the time, the quick selection tool is the best general purpose tool for making selections, though each one has its uses. In any of the selection tool settings, you'll also find the select subject button that lets you automatically select the subject in an image. In this particular image, to select the sweater, we'll use the quick selection tool. Before selecting the area, you'll see the yellow selection preview. Now, simply paint over the area of the image you want to select. Once you've selected an area of an image, any areas outside the selection generally won't be editable. For example, when making changes using color adjustments or effects, only the selected area will change. Keep in mind that when working on selected areas, your changes will be merged with the layer once you clear your selection. To apply color adjustments non-destructively, you can make the selection, then click the Add Layer button and click Color Adjustments. A new color adjustments layer with a mask will be created automatically. Now you can apply color adjustments to the selected area and later edit them again. By the way, if you're simply looking to remove the background in your image, you don't have to make any selections of the background. Simply click the Remove Background button in the toolbar and the background will be removed automatically.